Welcome to the Travel Media Lab podcast. I'm your host, Yulia Denisuk, an award-winning travel photographer and writer, entrepreneur, community builder, and a firm believer that every one of us can go after the stories we've always wanted to tell with the right support, encouragement, and structure. I'm on a mission to help women's storytellers everywhere break into and thrive in the travel media space. If you're ready to ditch your fears to the side, grow your knowledge and confidence, and publish your travel stories, you're in the right place. Let's go. Hi, everyone. I hope your September is going well. We are taking a quick break this month here at the Travel Media Lab podcast, and we will be returning very soon with fresh season seven episodes for you. And until then, I'd like to share with you a few conversations that we have in the circle, our membership in which will help you get your stories published with support, encouragement, opportunities, and a just amazing, amazing community that I'm so, so, so proud of. In this bonus episode, I'm sharing with you a discussion we recently had in the circle during one of our weekly check-ins. This is one of the many things we do in the circle, weekly check-ins on Zoom, where we set the priorities for the week and also have opportunities to ask questions related to our pitches and working in the industry. In this particular call, we're discussing the process of pitching and reaching out to sources and why it's important to write about what you're passionate about. This episode will give you a really good sense of what our weekly conversations inside the circle look like. And just a note that every conversation from the circle that you hear as part of these bonus series this September is shared with permission from our members. And before we get started, I want to share with you a super exciting announcement. This October, we're inviting travel writer Jessica Poitavian to run a series of travel writing workshops inside the circle. We're calling the series The Anatomy of a Travel Story, and in it, Jessica is going to take you through the whole process, from generating ideas and pitching, to interviewing and gathering your sources, to developing your story structure and writing your article. Jessica has written for Travel and Leisure, Condé Nast Traveler, National Geographic, Photos Travel, and many more, and I'm so, so excited to learn from her this October. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about how the workshops will look like. We'll have a total of three one-hour workshops on Monday, October 3rd, October 17th, and October 24th. The workshops are free for our Circle members, and if you join us at our Imagine level, which is just $27 a month, you'll be able to get the audio recording of all the workshops. Now, if you want to attend the live call, if you want to interact with Jessica, if you want to ask her questions, then you can join us at our Rise or Soar levels, and at those two levels, you will have live access to the workshops and the opportunity to get your pitch critiqued by Jessica. Again, the first workshop will run on Monday, October 3rd. So if you join anytime before that, you'll be able to learn alongside Jessica and get her amazing expertise and experience. Get more information about this at travelmedialab.com slash circle. And I hope to see you inside. All right, now let's get into this episode. Uh, welcome everyone to our weekly check-in. I'm really glad to see everyone. And before we go through our sort of regular check-in, um, I just wanted to point out that if you haven't seen yet, by the way, is everybody receiving the weekly emails this week in the circle? Everybody's getting those? Okay, great. That's good because I hear that sometimes they can go to spam folder or something or other folder that Gmail has. So just to make sure that you're all receiving those. So if you haven't seen today's uh, email yet, I just want to bring to everybody's attention that our workshop series with Jessica Pointevian is on, meaning this, the dates are set. We finally set the dates and it will be this October. There will be three workshops. There will be one on Monday, October 3rd at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. And all that schedule is both in the calendar inside our uh, circle group and also in the email that I sent you. So don't worry about writing it down right now, but just I want to make sure that you know that these are the workshops. So the first one will be on 
on Monday, October 3rd. And in that one, we're going to go over generating ideas and pitching. So how do you come up with ideas on a regular basis? How, and, and she'll she also talk about generating ideas process and also the pitching process in that workshop. Then if you want to participate in a pitch review, because she's going to actually give critique to your pitches as well, which is an awesome opportunity for everyone. I always say this, that the more eyes you can get on your pitches, the better. And you get my eyes on your pitches and our other community members. But it's great to have another very established travel writer to look at your pitches as well. So I encourage everyone to plan to participate in that. So the first workshop, like I said, is Monday, October 3rd. Then your pitches will be due one week later to her, Monday, October 10th. And that date is also on the calendar. You will see it there. It says pitches due. Uh, and we'll figure out a process by way, you know, how, how we're going to do it. Maybe we'll do it in a circle. Maybe there's a Google Doc. Like We'll figure that out. But if you want to participate, just note that. Then she will have a week to look at your pitches. And then the second workshop will be on Monday, October 17th at 12 Eastern. And in that workshop, uh, we'll spend the first like 20 minutes going through the pitch, pitch critique. If you have any questions to her. And then she's going to go into the second workshop, which is finding sources and interviewing, because I know that's also an area where a lot of people sometimes feel stuck, right? How do I approach people? Sometimes we feel like if we don't have the journalistic background, do we even have the right uh, to approach people? And how do we do it, right? How do we interview? How do we get what we need from somebody, right? So she'll cover, she'll cover all that. And then finally, the third workshop will be on Monday, October 24th. So all the workshops will be on a Monday. And that one will be about developing your story structure. So you first generated your ideas, then you, you know, you have your pitch, then you interviewed your sources, and now you have it all together. How do you put it into a story? So really, she's going to take us, you know, from beginning to end through the process of coming up with a travel story, which is even for me, it's really excited. I love Jessica. I love her writing style. Like I said, she's very accomplished. And I'm also excited to learn from her as well. So I want to encourage everyone to, you know, put those dates on your calendar. Make sure you attend. Of course, if you cannot attend live, you know, there will be a recording for all of these. So, you know, you're not, you're not going to miss the teaching, the learning. But I encourage everyone to attend live. Like I always say, when people come inside the circle and they share their knowledge with us, I want to also support them. It would be a pity if only one person showed up live, you know. Uh, so if you can, please, please try to, to come up, to come and to support. We'll also see like in all of these workshops, we'll leave some time for questions. So if you have questions, you know, live interactions, you can ask her anything you want as well. But that's what we're thinking to do or that's what we're planning to do. And just a note that the live access to this workshop will be available to RISE and SOAR members. So I know we have some people who will be listening to this later who are getting the audio recording only of the circle. So you guys will be getting that in the audio format. And then if you're in the RISE membership, uh, which Katie is, our newer member Katie is in RISE. So Katie, you will be able to access live these workshops as well. It's all in the calendar. It's all in the circle. If you have any questions, let me know yeah so I wanted to just take some time to walk through that as you can see I'm very excited about this coming up and uh yeah we'll have we'll have a really intensive month in October and I will have a very intensive month in October because I will be all over in Asia in Europe in the Middle East yeah so <laughs> but it'll, it'll be fun so I I wanted to let you guys know that that's coming up all right, now that that's out of the way, by the way, any questions about that, the workshops, anything? No? Cool. All right. Now that that's out of the way, let's check in. Jolene, thank you for sending in your your goals, your check-in. I just want to say that, so you're saying that you have the rough draft ready or almost ready. You want to edit that and then do some more research and produce another pitch. I would say like once you've edited your first draft, just submit it. So we can look at it and send it out. And then like, well, I guess it depends on your process because you can you can have different ways of working. But the way I sort of approach it is one pitch at a time. Let's get it to completion. Let's send it out and then, you know, focus on the next thing. Because sometimes you can sort of like, well, it's still not ready. So let me work on something else. So yeah, let's just get it ready and send it out and then work on the other stuff. Yeah, sounds good. And I think I just, it needs a, there's like, I have two paragraphs for the intro. So just a little more of like a concise and clean copy. 
So I'm hoping tomorrow that'll be, I can just get that done and then start moving, moving forward. So. Awesome. I'm excited. This is, this will be your first one, right? I don't think I've seen pitches from you yet. Yeah. This is my first one. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. It's fun to do. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. I, I'm glad that you're feeling this way. Uh, that's very important, actually, because we want to cultivate that feeling that pitching is fun. It's not scary. It doesn't need to be scary. It can be fun, right? So that's awesome. I'm, I'm very excited to, to see that. And uh, Nicole, I saw your comment. I haven't had a chance to reply yet, but I saw your comment that you took some time off and you're sort of looking at going back to them. I just want to tell you, Nicole, by the way, I just want to by the way, commend you on like, <laughs> how much you've already produced in the time that you've been here. And you're always, you know, you're always taking my feedback. You're always, you're learning a lot. You're doing a lot. So I want to say, don't, I hope you're not feeling like, oh, again, more feedback, more. This no, no. <laughs> you're, you're doing great. So basically what I want to say is that you're doing I think, I, I do have a quick question because I did see um, one thing you mentioned in the pitch that I started working on again is um, to include an expert witness and say I secured it. I found somebody, but do I really secure it before I even get the pitch or can I just say that? And then... It's a great question. It sort of depends. <laughs> you have to sort of gauge like how open would this person be in interviewing? You know, you can you can sort of frame it as so first of all, who is the person that you found? Oh, it's just the person who wrote the report, the professor from Yale who wrote the report on um the cloud forest. Mm. So I found his name, I found his email, like he's listed as saying quotes in the report. Gotcha. But I haven't contacted him yet because I don't know if anyone's gonna take the picture or not gosh you got you well then you can say it very simply i plan on okay i plan on reaching out to such and such okay you don't have to say i've secured his ass okay but you, you can say All right. plan on. and then once you get you know once you get some affirmative <laughs> okay. then you can reach out to this person and say I, i'm i'm sure like it, it won't be a problem for them to respond so what i'm saying trying to say is there's different ways to manage that it also depends on it. like your relationship with this person that you're quoting sometimes if it's more informal you know you can reach out to somebody ahead of time and say hey i'm planning on writing this article would you be open to me interviewing okay it just sort of all depends there isn't like one clear-cut answer in this case that's how i would approach it i would say i plan on including you know okay from this person and that that should be enough for the initial pitch Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. And I think you had another question. Let me just answer it here then. I think you had a oh. question about like, there's only two cloud forests, one in Puerto Rico and one in Hawaii. Is that correct? Yeah, and I just, I didn't know how to say it because so um, the one in Hawaii is the only one in the US, but Puerto Rico is a, a US territory. So it's not technically right saying that. Can we say one of two? two? Can we say one of two cloud forests in North America? That might sound better. It just got yeah. tricky, all those technical details. Definitely. And then you explain in the story itself, like, what does that mean? Okay. It's important because, yeah, it's it's always good to have some concrete context to what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So still working on it, but thank you. <laughs> I'm very excited for that pitch for you. I think, uh, like, get it over the, the, the finish line with all the feedback that we've discussed and let's send it to BBC Travel first, I would say. And, like, I, I think it's a great story and it has great potential. So thank you. I've sure learned a lot about it, <laughs> all the research, but thank sure. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and that's actually, so what you said also, Nicole, is important because that's why I always sort of encourage you guys to write about what you're interested in or write about what you're passionate about, because then all of that research and all of that legwork that you're doing, it's going to be fun again. It's it fun. is fun. Oh, yeah. You know, I have to research <laughs> how many cloud forests are there. You know what I mean? So the more you can sort of so, sorry, a little time tangent, a little aside. I'm in the this I'm entering this phase in my life where I'm like, I don't want things. Oh, and we said we talked about this last on the last call, I think, too. I don't want things to be difficult. I want things to be easy. 
as, as much as possible. I want an easy, not in a sense that like I'm skating through things, but in a sense like ease, right? Ease, joy, enjoyment. How can I make this process more, more filled with ease for me, this process of pitching, et cetera. So that's where I think it's important that you cultivate that for yourself. Like what ignites you? What topics ignites you? What would you be like so interested in doing research on, right? Always have that in the back of your mind that, you know, because it's going to help your whole process. Like for example, another example, an editor just reached out to me and they're like, hey, we need, you know, we need two and a half articles by next week. Can you do this? And, but they reached out to me because it's about Jordan. And I'm sort of an expert on Jordan now because that's how I very specifically built my portfolio, my career. I talk about Jordan a lot, right? It's in my bio that I do work in the Middle East. So people are not, this is my niche, it's becoming my niche. So somebody's reaching out to me. Like if they reached out to me and said, hey, can you do two articles on the best beaches in Mexico? I would probably say yes. I mean, probably, right? Like at this point, but maybe I would say no, actually, because I'm like, well, I don't know if I want to write about that. That doesn't interest me. So this is what I'm trying to say, right? That our niche helps guide us and our decisions and everything that we're doing. So uh, a little aside here, Jolene is saying, I think there is a cloud forest in coastal BC, Canada, which is also North America. Interesting. Okay. It's good, good one to check then. But yeah, I mean, you know, however many there are to avoid that issue, Nicole, of, you know, well, how do I explain Puerto Rico versus US in this page? Just say North America, however many there are, you know. Thanks again for listening to our bonus episode today. I hope you found the ideas we discussed here relevant and inspiring. If you're looking for support, opportunities, and community in the travel media space, consider joining us in the circle where we have conversations like the one you just heard on a regular basis. And don't forget, this October, we're running a special series of workshops with travel writer Jessica Poitivian, where she'll teach generating ideas and pitching, gathering sources and interviewing, and developing your story structure. If you've been thinking about joining the circle, this is your cue. Don't miss this awesome opportunity to learn from Jessica and improve your travel writing skills. Go to travelmedialab.com slash circle to learn more. Thanks again for listening and stay tuned for another bonus episode coming your way next week.